every story has a beginning. And ours starts here. The year is 1148. The place, Syria, within the walls of the great city of Damascus. These are dangerous times where trouble awaits around every corner. The people tell stories of a great warrior who will one day... Ah, you'll never catch me! Hi, Omar! Tariq? Flee, you cowardly dog! Hi, Omar! Saladin? Flee before my blade! Now, where was I? Ah, yes. A great warrior who will one day... Soft and warm, baked fresh this morning! Coming through! <laughs> Pretty hands you have. Let me go! Too bad I may have to cut them off, you little thief. Ah! Stop! Get back here! Yes. <laughs> Are you okay? Fine, go away. So why are you hiding in garbage? Sal, what are you doing? We don't even know who she is. Tarek, be nice. Sorry, no offense. There you are. I've got you. Come on. What did we just talk about? Uh-huh. <laughs> Wait for me. Tarek, we'll drop you off on the way. Shahan, is it true? An army's coming? No. They're already here. Shahan, this sword 
has been in our family for two generations. It has never known dishonor, and now I'm sure it never will. Thank you, Father. I want to come too. When you're older, little brother. And taller. <laughs> Much taller. But the fun will be over by then. When you're old enough, we'll travel the world together and have lots of adventures. Promise? I promise, Salahadin. desert has no memory. All things are washed away by the winds and the sand. Like waves crashing against the rocks, the Franks fell against the walls of the city. By the tenth day, water had run out, and people had to drink from puddles on the street. Allah was with us, and our swords were sharp. Many of our soldiers fell that day. They gave their lives so that you could be free. That is all for today, children. Nice try, little one. Now run home before I tell your father. Fast feet, that one. Thank you, Saladin. Good heavens, all this trouble for just one jewel. Not just any jewel. The Star of Persia. They say it's the most precious ruby in the known world. Larger than a man's fist. All right, all right. No need to shout it from the rooftops. Relax. Once we deliver it to that fat merchant, it won't be a problem anymore. Interesting. Salah Hedin, you look troubled. I didn't tell my father about the job. It's just, he's planned my whole life for me. Join the army, fight for our sultan. Just like my brother. And... What do you want? I want to see what's out there. Life outside these walls. I need to. I just need to explain that to my father. Now that is the bravest decision of all. Farewell, old friend. I will miss our talks. And where is your excitable friend? Tarek? If we're going to leave, we're going to need work. <laughs> A 
Are you Mustafa? Who wants to know? Hey! Huh. Ah. My name is Tarek. I hear you're looking for men to guard your caravan to Egypt. We're looking for men, not boys. <laughs> we are transporting very valuable goods. Well, I'm not going to waste your time. I heard you're a man of vision. The vision to see the value in what I'm offering. The absolute finest swordsman in three cities. And that would be you, Tarek? Me? Oh, no. I'm fair with the bow, but the blade is not for me. I mean, the one and only Salahadin. Oh, Salahadin! <laughs> Who? Mother? I'm home. Father, have you reconsidered getting a job with that merchant? Tarek's there now. Grow up, Salah Din. You're needed here. It is rumored that Reginald is returning to take Damascus. His army numbers in the thousands. Your Sultan needs you here. Your people need you here. Is that the same speech you gave Shahan? How dare you! He was a hero! He was. And so long as I stay here, that's all I'll ever be. The little brother of a fallen hero. And your solution is to leave your home, your family. Please understand, Father. I need to find my own path. Always the dreamer. You shame our family. I don't agree. There's no shame in not knowing who you are. Only in not having the courage to find out. Goodbye, Father. You don't just need muscle, you need brains. And you would be the brains? Yes, sir, I would. You see, I've never been the biggest or the strongest, but I was never in a fight I couldn't think my way out of. I'm not begging for work, I'm offering an opportunity. So, Mustafa, what say you? Darwish, show this young man what we think. <laughs> <laughs> that feels like a no to me. Problem, you said. The muscle and brain speech never fails, you said. Could we save the lecture until my head returns to normal size, please? I can't go back home. What am I supposed to say? Hi, I'm back. The son who brought shame to the family name. What's for dinner? Oh, poor you. Hello, I'm the one with the head trauma here. <laughs> him. Darwish. What's he doing here? Who cares? What we need to do is teach him some manners. We? Well, mostly I mean you. But I'd be there for moral support. What was that all about? We should find out. And by we, you mean... What? Well? The Star of Persia will be delivered to Mustafa's warehouse tonight. Good. I'll be there. Wait! My money! Half now. Half when the job is done. Mustafa's no fool. He cannot suspect I betrayed him. When you knock me out, make it look good. 
That won't be a problem. I hope you're as good as you say you are. No. I'm better. Come on, I've got an idea. Oh, no! I have a very bad feeling about this. What? We saved Mustafa from Darwish? Gratitude all around. Instant job offer. You're forgetting the danger to life and limb, followed by imminent death. Details. Sal? Sal? Wait for me! <clears throat> there it is, the Star of Persia. The largest ruby in Arabia. It's beautiful. Come, we must make preparations to transport it to Egypt tomorrow. Excuse me, gentlemen. I believe that is mine. Intruders! Prepare to die! Remember, make it look good. I'll take that, if you don't mind. Over my dead body! As you wish. Then again, it's only money. Good evening! Did anyone order a perfectly timed, incredibly heroic rescue? Huh? Salahaddin, what are you doing here? Anissa? So it was you in that alleyway. I admit nothing. Now, do you mind? I'm working here. <laughs> that makes two of us. <laughs> Darwish, what are you doing? Your partner sold you out to this little thief here. They're after the Star of Persia. At least that was their plan. Isn't that right, Darwish? You're dead. You're all dead. Darwish, is this true? Most of it. Except for one tiny detail. Doesn't anybody knock anymore? Good job, Darwish. I wish you told me about them. About that. There's been a change of plan. What? I'll take that. Huh? Thank you. <laughs> what did I say? Imminent? Death? All things considered, I think that went pretty well. Haven't you heard of honor amongst thieves? Sorry. First time. Too bad all the witnesses to the theft perished in that horribly tragic fire. You'll never get away with this. I already have. What is it you always say? It's not stealing. It's just borrowing. Permanently. Farewell. We've got to get out of here! Those chairs! They're full of oil! I don't believe this! I'm going to be ruined! And I'm going to die! No chance of a job, then? A job? For you two idiots? You're as useful as monkey tongue in a sandstorm! Wait, Anissa! You still owe me one. Next time, stay out of my way. Wait, what about me? You can't leave me here! I'm sorry. Monkey dung, was it? Oh, the, the fire! Not our problem. We don't work for you. You're hired, both of you! How much? Five silver coins a week! Ten? What? That's robbery! It's a seller's market. Fine! Food and lodging? Done! Just Please! The star! I'm on it. Huh. 
you have something that doesn't belong to you. I'm taking it back. You're not a complete waste of space after all. You want it? Come and get it. You stupid boy! You ruined everything! Now you're mine! Who's running? Huh? Oh, come on! Any way to thank me? No, that's how I distract you. Thank you, Anissa. This isn't over. Oh, and next time, stay out of my way. Mustafa and I get along really well. Really? Uh-huh. I don't care if you return the ruby. Go to the phone's mess up just once, and you're fired. Oh, yeah. I can feel the love. Shut up. It's all I did. I'm not changing my mind. I didn't come for that. I came to what I said before. I'm not ashamed of you. You're my son. I hear you need a new sword. Are you sure? Very sure. Take it. Thank you, Father and come home safe. Find your way, my son. This is it! We're finally getting out of here! Travel the world, and you know what we're gonna find? Fortune and glory? Fortune and glory! <laughs> And so it begins.
was a bad idea! of Egypt, he couldn't give me gold or jewels. Wow! <laughs> wow, boy! No, instead, I get this monster! He's a war horse, not like these pack animals you've got us riding. You have to know how to handle them. Leave this to me. Yeah. Relax. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> You're glue! Well, most of the time. I should just leave that brute for the marauders. Marauders? Pirates! The stuff of nightmares! They raid caravans, take all you have, and if you're lucky, kill you then and there. And if you're not lucky? You don't want to know, boy. May the fleas of a thousand camels infest their armpits! <laughs> to it! But fear not. They hunt further north this time of year. Uh, so, good thing we don't need to worry about them, huh? We can relax. Right, Sal? Looks like we lucked out, boys. Fresh meat. <laughs> Mustafa, these marauders, by any chance... Did they usually attack in raiding parties of, say, five? Why, yes! Do they dress in black and attack with the sun at their backs? Exactly! How did you know that? We have guests. Huh? We're not supposed to be here! Marauders! <laughs> Calm down! Back to your positions! Turn those camels around! Don't just stand there! Move! Move! Everybody stop! Panic gets you dead. Anyone who would prefer to live, pay attention. Tarek, how long till they get here? Mm. It depends on several factors. Current speed, weather conditions... Tarek! Uh, ten minutes at most. All right, get the packs off those camels. Anything you can't carry, leave it behind. That's insane! You know how much I paid for that? Time to choose. Your money or your life. Mm. Mustafa! Give me a minute, I'm thinking about it! <laughs> we left a small fortune back there! Hopefully, it'll keep them distracted for a while! I don't like this! You have a better idea? Come on, don't get greedy, take it! Would have been too easy. They're catching up! We can make it! No! They're better riders! Stronger horses! I've gotta go back! Slow them down! That's suicide! It's the only way! Stay with the caravan! Ride for Palmyra! you alive. Didn't your mother ever teach you? It's introductions first, threats later. Go after them! I'll help the boss! Let him go! Let me think about that. Uh, no. 
Get off your horse and keep your hands where I can see them. Now, I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to take that horse and get out of here. That's not gonna happen, boy. Brave talk, considering I've got the sword. And I've got two other men. Wait! This one interests me. Saladin's not coming. He's probably being tortured to death as we speak. Sorry, uh, maybe it was a quick death. We wait. Rider! Well, I'll be a baboon signed parts. He made it. That's not him. Rider, we need to go now. <laughs> huh? That's an impossible shot. Nothing is impossible. It's just a question of wind direction and angle of trajectory. We're all going to die. On the other hand... Sometimes you just point and shoot. There will be others. Let's move. answer would be hell. Longer answer would be a prison in a marauder camp. This one run by the great General Beram. He's a general? He claims to be. Those who disagree don't usually live that long. My name is Don't Saladin. bother. I don't need to know your name. Slaves don't need names. I am not a slave. You soon will be. Beram plans to sell all of us to the Egyptians. We get to spend the rest of our short, miserable lives Polishing the pyramids or something. Life huh? is full of disappointment. <laughs> General Beram. Ah, Duncan. And how is the prize in my collection? You're gonna fetch me a pretty penny. A frank slave. Very exotic. <laughs> and you, boy, have caused me a great deal of trouble. Like the look. Get your hands off my sword. <laughs> Bring him. Nice knowing you. Try not to scream too much. It's nap time. I'll see what I can do. I keep an office here. We'll be taken care of. Good. I need a fresh horse. He's gone, Tariq. You don't know him. He's too stubborn to die. Ha! Your horse, sir. away with it. Your tailor seems to manage. Huh? Now I want you to beg. Give me my sword. And we'll see who does the begging. This can all end. Just beg. Beg for mercy. Uh, beg for some quiet. Your voice is grating. Just give him what he wants, you fool. We're only being this gentle because we need you in one piece for the sale tomorrow. 
Don't want damaged merchandise for our slave trader friends now, do we? Please, no more. Now you are ready to be a slave. Enjoy your final day of freedom. <laughs> Yeah, the general's lessons tend to get tough from here on out. <laughs> <laughs> I did what I could to treat your wounds. Not very well stocked in here. I'll complain to the management. <laughs> so, how did someone like you end up here? Like any other sinner, one step at a time. Let's eat! It can't be any worse than lunch. Don't be ashamed about what happened. Everyone breaks eventually. No one broke me. I got what I needed. And that would be? The layout of the camp. I saw it all when they dragged me out there. I'm getting out of here, and you're going to help. You're mad. I'm not going to die, some nameless slave. We can do this. Together, we can do this. Together? All of us. <laughs> if you're relying on them, you're not only mad, you're stupid as well. Are you with me? And I guess you're already a slave. Ugh. Maybe leaving home wasn't such a great idea. The Egyptian is coming. Try and look smart. <laughs> if that's possible. This man, Hotet, would kill you as soon as look at you. He is a cutthroat businessman, and I mean that literally. It's him! He's coming! Here he comes! Remember, serve him well and end up rich fail, and we won't even live to regret it. <laughs> oh, Ted! Welcome to my camp! Bearer, I presume. You are Hotet? Yes, I am. I see my reputation precedes me. I believe you have some merchandise for me. Are you sure you are Hotet? I am the personal assistant to the Minister of Public Works. Now, do you wish to deal or shall I take my business elsewhere? Fine. The merchandise is this way. Uh, not right now. After all that riding, I have sand in places sand was never meant to be. How do you people live like this? I'll need a bath first. Soap and salts if you have them. Now, I'd like my bath hot. You hear me? Hot. And afterwards, some dates. And some kebabs. Hey, hey, looks like it's time for the general to play nursemaid. <laughs> <laughs> Something funny you want to share with me? Nursemaid. <laughs> okay, here we go. No. What are you doing? Saving your life, and ours as well. If this doesn't work, they just might kill all of us. You ever think of that? I'm getting out of here. No, you're not. That was a mistake. Get off, you scumbags! If anyone gets damaged, the boss will have all our heads.
sorry. Got carried away. Let's go. Come on. What did I tell you? You are human beings. You belong to no one but yourselves and your god. You were free once. You can be again, but you have to fight for it. Join us. I guess it's just the two of us. So, General Bearam, when can I collect my merchandise? When my men finish counting your money. It's not that I don't trust you, it's just, well, I don't trust you. But General Bearam, trust is the basis for any business arrangement? No, money is. And with one of these, <laughs> trust is irrelevant. <laughs> oh, I had you going there, Hotet. You two tens, you need to relax. Get a sense of humor. <laughs> yes, oh, that was very funny. No, I'm serious. Huh? Evening. Darn. Who goes there? Hey, what's up? Nothing. Thought I heard something, that's all. Bear up! Face me, you coward! Must admit, I am impressed. I am going to end you. Who is he? Part of your purchase. Spirited, isn't he? Marauders! Marauders! It's showtime. Is that all you've got? Who are you to challenge the great general Beram? I am Salahadin, son of Ayu, warrior of Damascus, and mine will be the last face you will ever see. Wait, he is my property. I'll refund you for the loss. Well, that's all right then. By the way, shouldn't one of you idiots be guarding the horses? <clears throat> now, Duncan! <laughs> Will somebody kill him, please? Well, 
long day. Quickly, this way! Where's your horse? Outside the camp! Huh? I found you another horse. A very cranky one. Oh, no. Look, you don't like me, and I don't like you. But we both want to get out of here, okay? I'll take that as a yes. Come on, let's move. Oh, see? Duncan Tarek! Tarek Duncan! Wait here! What are you doing? I forgot something! I'll be right back! Don't just stand around! Put that fire out! Like the look? <laughs> Bring him back! I want his head on a pike by morning! We cannot, General! Why not? They took all the horses! <laughs> Outrage! Not now. I agreed to do business with you because I heard you were in love. Mm. Obviously, that's not the case, seeing as my merchandise is currently halfway to Damascus. I want my money fully refunded. I want compensation for time and inconvenience. Oh. I've never liked giving money away. It always seemed wasteful. Take him away, boys. You can't do this to me! Do you know who I am? I am Sergeant Akali for me! Congratulations. Soon you'll be answering to a much higher power. Saladin. You almost got yourself killed over a sword? Not just a sword. A chance to make a new friend. Oh, you don't have to. He's talking about the horse. Oh, right. Well, I guess I should be going. Good escape. Let's never do it again. Farewell. Duncan, wait! You were... useful back there. We could always use someone like you. Huh? Someone who's good in a fight. Are you offering me a job? You know he's a Frank, right? Nobody's perfect. Come on, Duncan. What else are you gonna do? I guess I could use the work, until something better comes along. Next up, Palmyra! Yeah! Palmyra is... That way. I knew that. Just testing. <laughs> we are doomed. the ship to Rosetta, and you're all 20 gold pieces richer. That's it? That's it? No catch? Of course not. No catch. And you know what this is? A very big catch! Faster! Would be better! Nag, nag, nag. You keep this up and you'll never find a good husband. <laughs> oh. Relax, madam. There is nothing to worry about. Everything is under control. She did not get us all killed? That would be great! And there's mother hen number two. Why don't you? That's one for me! I'm out of ammo! Look out! Yeah. 
am the king. Let all men quiver before me. You all right there, short stuff? How many fingers? No time. You can kill Duncan later. Frank soldiers disguised as bandits. Hurry up! We're casting off. <sighs> Captain Cena, I presume. We were told to the deliver. The staff already filled me in. Told me to expect some trouble too. Well, that makes one of us. Go aboard the ship. You're safe now. You three might want to consider a bracing sea voyage. Wait a minute. Nobody said anything about a boat. Ship. Yeah. Whatever. I don't do floating. So we're not going. That's final. Confirmed? No. More riders! Thanks for the offer, Captain. But we don't run from a fight. Until now. Let's go. I'm not happy about this. Not happy at all. Duncan, very not happy. Duncan! Uh, okay, okay. Just go! I don't do water. Cease fire, you morons! They're out of range! Step aside, step aside! The general is coming through! They got away, General Reginald! Shall we go after them, sir? Any other stupid questions? Are you hurt in any way, madam? No, thank you. The worst is over. Try and get some rest. My savior, my brave warrior, I am in your debt. It must be repaid. No need. It's all part of the... I will ask my father's permission for you to begin courting me. Court who? My hand in marriage. A fitting reward for so great a hero. Really? Ah, that's very, uh, unexpected. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm... Oh! <laughs> in the name of all that is good and holy, not you. The look on your face, priceless. My hero. <laughs> Anissa. No, I mean, that's the point, isn't it? What, of all the... Oh, why her? Is it just me, or...? Nope, he's lost it. Sal? What's wrong? That would be me. You! Weapons down! No one gets killed on my ship unless I say so! You don't understand! She... I'm not in the habit of repeating myself. We have to turn around and head back. Of course! Head back towards the large mob firing arrows at us! You don't understand. You can't trust this woman. That hurts. The last time we met, you tried to kill me. And saved your life, too. You're welcome, by the way. Captain Sina. For my passage to Oseta. 
So, half now? Half when we get there. Hmm. You look different than I expected. <laughs> Better, though. Aren't you the sweetest thing? Welcome aboard. She stays! We're both working the same job here, Sal. So what do you say? Friends? Getting up was a mistake. Duncan? Feeling better? <sighs> better out than in. I was thinking about the Franks that attacked us at the port. And? They came out of nowhere. As if they knew where we were the whole time. That's strange, isn't it? You accusing me of something? No. When I accuse you, you'll know it. Who is it? Salahadim. Come in. Didn't your mother ever teach you not to stare? My father taught me to never turn my back on a thief. I've been hired, just like you. You were paid to get me to the ship. I was paid to get this. To Rosetta. What's in the box? I was also paid to keep that information private. Don't play games with me. The captain promised us clear skies and calm seas. Just relax, Sal. This will be over soon enough. Don't call me Sal. What is it? The usual imminent death. Frank Warship! Frank Warship? Crow? What am I paying you for? Frank Warship! We know! They just won't give up. Where did you get that box? You stole it, didn't you? From them. Steal is such an ugly word. You both have until I stop talking to tell me what in the name of Neptune's trident is going on here. Or oh, so help me, I will feed you to the Franks one piece at a time. Ah. Ten years ago, a Frank general named Reginald led an army to take the city of Damascus. He failed. His army was crushed and driven back into the desert. The world would have been a better place if they had just left him there to rot. Reginald hovered near death for three days. He woke screaming from a vision of the moment of his death after a great battle, slain by the blade of his enemy. An enemy whose face haunts him to this day. Which is where this box comes in. This is the Chalice of Isis. Legend has it that he who drinks from it on the eve of battle will be made invincible. That's ridiculous. Maybe, but Reginald believes it to be true. So why not just give him the cursed thing? Because once he believes he's invincible... Then we are at war. After he failed to take Damascus, the king relieved him of his command. Now, he leads his own army of mercenaries, answering to nothing but his own greed and ambition. She's closing in, Captain! I have eyes, Crow! What are you standing around for, you scurvy dogs? Man the rigging! Trim the sails! And kill every light on this ship. We run dark and silent. You two, make yourselves useful or you can start swimming. I'm really not feeling well. And I have sensitive hands. Move! <laughs> I want as much speed as you can muster. Aye, Captain. 
Planning to lose them in the darkness, Captain? Man plans. <laughs> God laughs. They may be able to outrun us, but you can't catch what you can't see. They're gone! Sensitive hands! Boom! Yes. <laughs> I want as much speed as you can muster. Aye, Captain. Planning to lose them in the darkness, Captain? Man plans. <laughs> God laughs. They may be able to outrun us, but you can't catch what you can't see. They're gone! We'll lose them in the darkness! No moon tonight. That should help. Help with what, my lord? You'll find out. Soon enough. Where are you going? Where do you think? To throw up my other lung. Hey, no lights on deck. I know, I know. Patience really isn't one of your virtues. Shh, would you be quiet? You should learn to relax. You'll live longer. You'll pardon me if I don't take life lessons from a common criminal. I'll have you know there's nothing common about me. I am a criminal of the highest order. Word of advice. Just do what the captain says and be quiet. That's another one you owe me. That's the least of our problems. Why don't we just give General Reginald what he wants? Yeah! That's not an option! <laughs> so any of your friends showing up? Now I know you weren't talking to me. Come on! You're a Frank there, Franks. You've been running all over the ship being sick. Plenty of time to signal your people. Duncan's no traitor. I trust him with my life. You take another step and you'll have to deal with all three of us. It's not a completely unreasonable accusation, Sal. What? You backstabbing little worm! Boys, if you can't behave, I'm gonna have the captain turn this boat around. We do not have time for this. Regardless of who told him, Reginald has our position. And right now, he and his merry band of cutthroats are closing in. Captain, there's nowhere to run. Hiding didn't work. That just leaves one thing. <laughs> Nothing, General! There's nobody on deck! Search below decks. You heard that, General! Move it! No! Hey, good boy. Looking for this? End of the line, girl. Return the box, and I'll let you keep your other hand. How kind of you. I have a better idea.
I'm not leaving without the chalice! You two, bring me that box and her pretty little head. Yes, sir! That wasn't part of the plan. giving myself away. But still, I've done well, haven't I? Yes. You've done very well. <gasps> Stop groveling. It's embarrassing. Somebody want to tell me what just happened here? What? Well, we made it. Tell that to my ship. Do me a favor. The next time you feel the need to go sailing, just forget you ever knew me. Deal. So, it seems that Crow was the one working for Reginald. Mm-hmm. I feel that I possibly might owe you an apology. <laughs> no need. Next time, you'll know better. Next time? One thing about life with you two, there's always a next time. See you, boys. Stay out of trouble. Should be easy without you around. Anissa! Listen, um, on the ship, you did... well. So, does this mean you trust me now? Let's not go overboard. I'll see you soon. Oh, <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Well? The plan sort of came off the rails at the end there. I didn't consider the possibility of a traitor among the crew. But they met. Yes. Reginald took one look at Salahadin. And? Then he ran as if the devil himself was nipping at his heels. Then it is true. He is the one. There is much to be done. You'll have to do it without me, Omar. I think I'll go back to making an honest living. 
as a thief. As you wish. The chalice of Isis. Good work, Anissa. I must go. Farewell for now. Omar, wait. The chalice. Is it real? Sir? Uh, huh? <sighs> That's him! I want this man found! Huh? Find him. Scour every city between here and Damascus. Search every village and desert outpost. Leave no stone unturned. Bring him to me! Alive or dead. Yes, sir! My end is not yet written. I know you now. Damascus. We could make camp here. No. This is Marauder territory. We need to keep moving. Keep going west! Get the caravan to Damascus. Well, what about you? There's a town a few leagues to the north. I've got family there. Come on, Duncan! If I don't make it, I want many girls at my funeral. Preferably belly dancers. And enough wine for five. No, ten days. Ugh. You're not going to die. So here's place is not far. He'll get you fixed up. An old friend? Old teacher. At least, that's how things started. Ow! You hit me! It's called teaching, young Salahadeen. I promised your brother I'd take care of you. And the best way to do that is to teach you to take care of yourself. This teaching usually involves so much hitting. Only when it's done right. Again. Very good. But not good enough. Remember, an enemy cannot defend what he cannot anticipate. Something like that, old man? <laughs> Just like that. But remember, your opponent can do the unexpected, too. Now we're here. We're gonna get you better. Enjoy some small-town hospitality and get some peace and... Quiet. Quiet, my kind of town. Go away. We don't want your kind around here. It's Salahadin, Ayub's son. Salahadin? And Hessa. What are you two doing? Dinner was over an hour ago. Salahadin, your mother is frantic. Sorry, my love. Flash ran over. Don't you, my love, me. Your pupil is dismissed. As is his teacher. Home, Salahuddin. Your place is with your family. <gasps> Quickly, bring him to the bedroom. Get some water and a towel from the kitchen. Oh, and don't wake the... 
the baby. How's he doing? I've done all I can. If the fever breaks within the next two days, he'll live. Belly dancers, a pipe band, and lots of wine. I think he'll live. You never met my son Hisham, did you? You left Damascus before he was born. Hello. Come over and say hello, Hisham. He's not usually so shy. He hasn't said a word since they took Zahir away to the arena. They just rode into town with their swords and overpowered us. They took over and began building the arena. Men started to go missing. Stop! Let my husband go! Help me! Please! We found out why soon enough. They have fights in the arena now. Battles to the death for the amusement of the rich and idle who come for miles to enjoy the spectacle. The greatest warrior that ever battled in the arena fights today! The one, the only, Zoon! Place your bets! My husband was one of the first to be taken. A curse upon them and that one-eyed monster, Baron. So, this is what happens when you combine bad taste with evil. It is only in combat that a man knows whether he is a hero or a coward, a survivor or a corpse. Our gladiators are heroes all, here to do battle for your entertainment. Welcome to the arena! Took a wrong turn. Salad in! Hi, 
Hey, uh, I was just uh, looking for the bathroom. Kill him! Now, wait a minute. Can we... A hundred gold pieces to the gladiator who draws first blood! Several gallons of first blood! Would be nice. <sighs> What's the rush? At least rest for the night. You don't know my friends. Separately, they're trouble. Together, they're a walking natural disaster. In fact, if I know Sal, he should be endangering life and limb right about now. Tarik will never let me hear the end of this. Out of my way, Hotez! No, sir. You work for me now, so do as I say. Or should I let my marauders finish what they started in the desert? But, sir... I promised myself that if I ever saw him again, no gloating, torturing, or diabolical schemes. Just cut off his head! The people love him, sir. Keeping him alive guarantees us a record attendance at tomorrow's games. Does this mean we're not friends anymore? I'd lose a lot of money if I just killed you now. Maybe it's worth it. Why is he decided, sir? Oh, Jess, some... shut up! My friends! My friends! My doctors have been tending to the boy. And he lives! Not only does he live, he still thirsts for the thrill of combat! That is why tomorrow, he will face that up! My friends! My friends! My doctors have been tending to the boy. And he lives! Not only does he live, he still thirsts for the thrill of combat! That is why tomorrow, he will face man to man in a battle to the death! The one, the only, Sun! Sun has fought over 50 fights in the arena. None have lasted more than a minute. You know what? I'm really glad I decided not to kill you. <sighs> glad to hear it. Do you have to leave? We're about to start a family. I want my child to grow up in peace. We can't do that here in Damascus. These hands. Allah made them for better things than fighting. 
Remember that, young Salahidin. Grow up well. Make your brother proud. Don't you all look pretty? You! Hey, how have you been? Looks like I get that bonus after all. Who dares to? Zoon! I'm so sorry. I didn't know it was you. Don't hurt me. He's yours. Uh, take him. Take him. It's a, a gift of respect. Just know, I won't go easy. From you, Salahidin, I expect nothing less. Is I here? Zond will break him into bite-sized pieces! Saladin's faster, though. Did you see that boy move? Doesn't matter. Zond has the experience. Ah, would you like to make a small wager on that? Can't leave him alone for a minute! They threatened my family, Saladin. The sword found me again. All this time, and I'm still a killer. You are not. You are a man protecting his family. And tomorrow you will see them again. Biram doesn't know we're friends. That's our advantage. I've beaten him before, and I can do it again. We can break out, all of us. But my family... We can save them too. We have to try. These hands were made for better things. When did you get so smart? I had a good teacher. The real money is not in what you can steal from people, it's from what you can sell to them. Senseless violence, bloodshed, gore, your basic family entertainment. But then he shows up, Salahidin. Bearing in mind that I have armed men outside your home waiting to butcher your wife and sons. You either bury him or your family. Can you beat him? I trained him. I can beat him. That's good to hear. Very good. <laughs> Here it is, the bout you've all been waiting for. Presenting the Battle of the Century! Youth versus experience! Speed versus raw power! Ladies and gentlemen, who will prevail? Will it be Saladin? Or the one, the only, Sun? Baram, we who are about to die salute you. You have got to be kidding me. Right, remember the. <gasps> what are you doing? Is I here? I'm sorry, Salahidi. I have no choice. <laughs> Don't do this, Zahir. It didn't have to end like this.
together. There was a plan? More or less. You're too late. You see that smoke? Your family is no more. I will kill you! Wait! He killed my Hessa! There's still time! Come on! Sal! Sal! Tarek! Follow us! Thank you, Tarek, for saving my life. Get out of my house! No! No! Take what you want, just don't hurt my children! Sorry, lady. It's the family package. Just babies. Just doing our jobs, ma'am. <gasps> Who are they? Who are you? Where's my axe? Huh? Really nice town you've got here. Mmm, lovely tea. <laughs> Hessa! Stay here! You're alive! You're alive! It's over now. Daddy's home. I see you're up and about. Disappointed? Mm, I'd already planned my happy dance for your funeral. How did you handle the marauders? I just cooked up a little something. Thank you.
So, where will you go? There's peace out there somewhere. I guess we'll just need to go a little bit further to find it. You could come with us. No. My place is with my family. Until we meet again. And keep practicing! I almost had you back there! Never happened, young Salahedin! Never happened! Detour. Trust me, he's up to no good. There he is! Out of the way! Besides, nothing relaxes like a juicy reward. Yeah, about that. Wait a minute. There's no reward, is there? Goodness is its own reward. No, goodness plus oodles of money. That's the reward! Anything to no. you? Tarek, you were right. I shouldn't have dragged all of you into this. That's big of you, Sal. Appreciate it. I hate you all. I don't shut, shut up! up! Hey, at least things can't get any worse. Hey, Saladin, I gave you one job to do. One job, and you mess it up. Uh, look, I can explain. Uh. I'm working with Anissa on this. I didn't think you two would understand. You're right, we don't. You can't trust that woman. Who says? You do, all the time. Going somewhere, rat? Yeah, but this is different. This is important. How? Her name was Mariam, and she was kidnapped. Taken and forced to work the silver mines up in the mountains. It's taken me years to find someone who knows where they are. And now, the very man who snatched her off the streets is going to tell me everything he knows. Aren't you, rat? I'm not telling you anything! <laughs> yes! Yes! I'll tell you everything! <laughs> we're going to find that mine, and we're going to get those people out. We could... use some help. I've always liked silver. It's so shiny. Oh, why not? Someone's gonna keep an eye on that Fort Tongue Viper. Flattery will get you everywhere. So, this is Mario. She was a friend? No. She's my sister. Is there a reason why we're dressed like a bunch of psychopaths? If we're going to do business with these people, we better look and act the part. Okay, everyone. Get into character. Who are you people? We represent the great General Baram. We're marauders! We're here to see your employer on business. What kind of business? 
<laughs> None of yours. Now are you gonna let us pass? Or would you like to explain to your boss why you kept him from all this money? Can I hold the pretty bag of gold? Ow! It's painted copper, so don't get too excited. All right, Salahadin and I will go see the boss. You two get the layout of the camp. See you in a few hours. I don't think he likes me very much. Well, that's because he doesn't. Let's go to work. It's not good enough. Work them harder. I want more silver. Yes, boss. I could hold on to this for you, sir. <laughs> oh, no. I find the best way to avoid betrayal is simply to trust no one. The key stays with me. Boss, you got visitors. You may go. Anissa! My goodness, these marauders will work with anybody. Even a traitorous wench like you. Same old Darwish. All the charm of a goat and the breath to match. Same old Anissa. What do you want? To offer you your heart's desire. A chance for vengeance. I present to you the one and only Salahadin. You! I don't believe it! God! You lying two-faced... Oh, you have done well. What do you want for him? I want a job. The rules are simple. You work the mine until I say stop. No complaints. No questions. In fact, no talking. Don't get to work! You aren't giving me a personal tour? That hurts. <laughs> I said no talking. Next time you'll make my friend here angry. And you won't like him when he's angry. <laughs> You're paired with Big Mouth here. Do as he says. Quickly, pick it up. And if anything happens, don't forget your baskets. The silver is worth more than your miserable lives. Take small steps. And don't forget the silver. I know, I know. I got the speech from the guard. Speaking of which, where are all the guards? Guards don't enter the mine. Ugh. Too many cadens. <sighs> I had to ask.
made him angry, Big Mouth. Oh, this is priceless. I think I'll commission a portrait of you like this. Oh, oh, I should have known better. Yes, you should have. Women, the downfall of us all. I guess you finally found your place. Parasite feeding off this mongrel dog. How dare you! Stop! Huh? Please, continue. Traitorous snake who betrayed my best friend. Well done. Did you get the key? Saladin has it. How did you get it to him? Simple. I'm just that good. Now we just have to deal with the 30 heavily armed guards. I'll take care of the guards. Just stick to the plan. Get the workers out and keep moving. And don't let Saladin do anything stupid. Come and get it! Back off, you animals! Don't crowd me! Borderline, you maggots! Or no one eats! Anissa the serving girl. Now I've seen it all. Just lending a hand. Interesting. He's not eating? The boss? He thinks he's too good to eat with the rest of us. But don't tell him I said that. It will be our little secret. Food before we run out. And why would I eat this slop? Might be good for morale. Show the men that you. Boss! Thought I'd bring you some food before we run out. Why would I eat this slop? Might be good for morale. Show the men that you're one of them? I don't think so. You have a quick mind, Anissa. But I find some of your ideas too progressive. My apologies. Trust me, Darwish. I know my place. Freeing you. We're all breaking out of here. Tonight. No! They'll hurt us! You're scared. But there's a different life waiting for you over those mountains. I can take you there. You just have to take the first step. One small step. What happened to you, Anissa? From self-serving thief to loyal employee in record time. People change. Do they now? I think I'll eat the stew after all. Would you like some? I'm not that hungry. I think I'm going to have to insist. Oh. 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 I knew it! You 
who are playing me this whole time. I'm going to spend days healing you. Friends are waiting over that next hill. We need to move quickly. The drug will only knock them out for a half hour. Maybe a bit longer for that guy. <laughs> now, what shall we start with? Your lying tongue or your thieving hands? Boss! Boss! That's impossible! I have the only... key. I was wrong! Killing you will take a week! On your feet, you good-for-nothing maggots! Find my workers! Move it! Where's Saladin? Nice to be part of a plan that actually works. No unnecessary bleeding and such. Speak for yourself. Next time, somebody else gets to play the prisoner. Excuse me? I don't know how to thank you. Uh. My name is Salah Hedin. I am Mariam. Huh? <gasps> is Anissa here yet? She'll be fine, Sal. <laughs> she can take care of herself. Well, I think that ship is sealed. <sighs> and bring me Salah Adin. He's behind this. I guarantee it. You stand here and guard my tent. Nobody passes. I'm going to peel off his face with a bread knife. What's that? What was what? I didn't hear anything. What have you done? Nothing. Anissa! It's okay. You're safe now. Let's get to the horse and... Ah! Do something about that facial hair. Nice try, Dar. What? He's here! Salad is here! He never listens! Later? You are aware we're running into the mine. Trust me, everything's under control. If one of us has to die, I hope it's you. Noted. Does your plan include leaving anytime soon? Sure it does. This way. One of the workers, she told me about another way out. She? Yeah, a secret tunnel.
your girlfriend's secret tunnel? No one who's tried to find the path has ever returned. So we're just running around aimlessly, looking for some secret tunnel that may or may not exist. Aren't my plans fun? I want every inch of that mine searched. I want those two found. What are you waiting for? Move it! But boss, the mine is unstable. So am I. Listen, about the girl. The one who told me about the way out. Her name is Mariam. After all this time, I found her. Don't get too excited. We don't know for sure if she's your sister. What are you talking about? Say name, say mine. It's her. What? Do you feel that? It's a breeze. You want me to get on my hands and knees and crawl through filth? That would be nice. And he calls this fun. This was a great idea. Dark, smelly, and muddy. That's not mud. It's guano. What's guano? Well, it's not bat droppings. It's almost done. I know. Once it gets light, they're going to find us. I know, Duncan. How about telling me something I don't know? You have an abnormally large head. Very helpful. Thank you. Ow! Ow! Hey! Move it! Faster! Oh, go! Come on! Oh, you're not that thin, all right? Move! Move! There it is. The exit. I don't believe it. Well, look who was right. Is it? Yes, it was me. Hmm. I knew you'd end up here. Cockroaches always find a way out. That's a bit personal. That's what separates me from other businessmen. The personal touch. Darwish can't help it. No class. You used to be nothing more than a cheap crook, Darwish. Now I realize you're a monster. True, but a very rich one. Finish this! Hey, Chuckles, here's what happens when I get angry. <laughs> It wasn't her. You okay? She's alive. I know it. 
I know things didn't quite work out the way you wanted. But we saved some people, and we beat the bad guy. That's a pretty good day. This is terrible! I was in that mine for a whole day, and it never occurred to me to take some silver! Not once! I blame you and slide in for this! You've been a terrible influence! I'm so sorry. Next time, I'll make sure we don't let helping people get in the way of you getting rich. I'd appreciate it. Pretty good day.